Hi guys. Hi. Thank you, Viva. Pleasure. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Oceana. Hello, Afro. Thank you, Soft Life Candles. Thank you. What are you guys up to? Is it public holiday tomorrow in your country as well? Nigeria, nice. Actually, I have a lot of followers from Nigeria. Thank you, Feminine Strategy. Oh, this is so awesome. Thank you, Oceana. And actually, like, on YouTube, we are at more than 1,000 now. We are at 1,400, and this is, like, so amazing because YouTube takes a lot of time, actually. Like, you need to record the video, edit, think about what you need to think about, think about what you need to say. Oh, Germany, nice. I feel like maybe everywhere in Europe, it's public holiday. Do you guys have eyelash extensions? Because this is something like I'm thinking about doing again because I, I love the look. But at the same time, I'm like, it's so ir irritating because right now I'm on Rakuten and my body is drier. So I don't know if this is the best time for me to, to get that. Maybe I have to wait until I finish my treatment and then I can do eyelash extensions because right now, I've been on Rakuten for like two, almost two months and it's still not, you know, this is just the beginning because my dorm said that I had to stay on Rakuten for, for six months minimum. So yeah, maybe that this is not the best time, but I love the look that you have with eyelashes, ex eyelash extensions. And if you can, I suggest doing it because just by having them, you look like a model. So if you can get eyelash extensions, you're gonna look put together without doing much, so yeah. Tell me what else do you do you think help look put together? You see, what I think is like you need to do things, you need to make sure that things are easier for you. So for example, what I do is like when I go out, like I always have a red nail polish in my bag. So when my when when the nail polish that I have is like you know wearing off then i just put it back on top just to as like you know as uh, an emergency but for for that you need to keep the the same you need to use the the same red all the time and i don't mind because i only love red for my nails and, and i don't really i don't necessarily like to experiment on my nails like I experiment a lot with my hair but for my nails like they are long and healthy so i don't i don't need so I don't need um, fake nails. So what makes you feel more confident about yourself? <sighs> A lot of things like... Um, what makes me feel... Well, many things. Like, I would say with with the work that I've been putting in since I'm like in my early 20s, 
yeah, I would say this is, yeah, it's everything I've done, like when it comes to improving my mind, because I know that back then I used to feel, I used to feel insecure about my mind because I always felt like I wasn't intelligent enough. I wasn't smart enough. And, um, and I went to really good schools where people were like very educated and they, they came from the upper class. And I don't know if this is something that you noticed around you as well, but usually like kids that come from the upper class, they, they are way more educated. And, um, and yeah, you have a huge gap between kids, kids who come from wealthy parents, but I would not just say wealthy because they, the parents can be wealthy, but they don't have the, um, the intellectual assets. So for example, like you can be like, at least here in France, what I, what I noticed, like some, some, some business, some business owners can be wealthy. Like, so they will have the financial assets. So for example, when they have, you know, a small shop, they're going to have the money, but they don't necessarily have, you know, the, um, the cultural, when I say cultural, I mean the, um, the knowledge you see about books and all of that. So this is what I mean by cultural, by cultural assets. So yeah, I used to feel insecure about that. And then, then I worked on it and now that, now I know that I'm smart, that I am smart. And now I see it as a blessing for me to have been around people who are way smarter than me and who came from wealth because I didn't. My family isn't wealthy at all. But by being with them, like I learned to, it, it allowed me to know that there is a different way to live and to raise my standards and to step up my game. So yeah. So if you have kids, I highly suggest you putting them in private school. So yeah, if you can, I suggest you putting your kids in in private school because they're gonna be around the wealth and they're gonna make friends with people who are wealthy as well. But at the same time, I think that you should still, you should still make sure that your kids are able to experience all many different things. So, so they 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 know what they they should know that some people struggle and help them, and um, they should also know that wealth is available to them. So yeah, I would say that the best way. Yeah, to to work on my money wounds. Well, I still have a lot of money wounds, a lot of them, but it got better because I've been actively working on them. And I made a post about it yesterday, actually, where I talked about money and how it was important when it comes to femininity, because without money, it's going to be hard for you to level up. So, yeah. So, let's see. Let me check your... Yes, I agree. Eyebrows like they change they change a lot. Little blush as well, glossy lips. Yes. Well for I don't really wear lip lip gloss, but on some people it looks really nice for sure. Yes, I agree. Teeth like teeth cleaning, nails and eyelashes and the light perfume, I agree. Oh yeah. So regarding what you're saying about losing confidence when you start a new job, I think you have an imposter imposter syndrome, and also since you don't get a lot of validation from from your from your manager or from your boss, you don't really know if you're doing a, if you're doing a great job. So yeah. Well, at least this is what I've experienced when I was working. When I was working for others when I was younger and I lacked confidence at work and yeah that that's mainly it and I remember like I was working at Tommy figure and I remember that I cried at some point because I felt like I was useless and and yeah now that I'm thinking back I'm like oh that was cute but it's true like no one really well at least not me but I don't feel like many many parents take the time to explain to to their kids okay at work this might happen, you might feel like that, you might feel, you know, that you don't belong here, that you aren't doing a great job and others are better, you see. I don't know, like, I feel like parents should, should be better at, at teaching their kids life 
and many many of the things that I've experienced I, I ended up I ended up learning them by myself and this is why I made a lot of mistakes and and yeah like I don't know I'm just a huge fan of conscious parents parenthood so I, I suggest you know educating yourself on that because you when you do it you heal the wounds that you carry with you as an adult So, Kirsty says that she feels triggers, triggered a lot when someone makes judgment about her body and it's completely normal. But um, just know that you are beautiful the way you are and you don't have to hang with those people. So what you can do if they say something about your body and you can't block them or remove yourself immediately, let's say they're at work, then first of all, you can tell them, excuse me, because you see when you tell them, excuse me, and they, they will feel dumb because most people don't, don't repeat the, the, the mean things that they say. So there is that, and you can also say like, it looks like you are trying to, it, look, it looks like you are trying to lower my self-esteem, I will not let that sink in. You see, you need to reinforce those boundaries. And if it's at, if it's at work, for example, you can say, okay, next time we're gonna have a chat with HR, and you're gonna tell them why wow, you have so many things to say about my body. You see, and if you if you say that, they're gonna stop immediately. What I'm getting from from life and from all of the experiences that I had is like people. People will test you, okay? They will test you because the boundaries that you have, they they don't know them, okay? So you need to communicate them clearly and often. And stop feeling like okay. If I am communicating my 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 boundaries all the time, I'm gonna be a bitch, or or they're gonna think that I'm mean, or or any of that. No, that's not true because you deserve to be treated right. You deserve to feel right at work or at the gym or whatever you whatever you do. And if you aren't, if they aren't capable of doing that, then always always tell yourself that you can remove yourself from the situation. And you don't have to interact to interact with them. Actually, I'm supposed to be on on YouTube, so I'm gonna end this live and. And I will see you on YouTube. I just posted the, the link to my YouTube channel on my slide, on my story. So feel free to join me there. Okay, I will see you in a bit.